Hey, Coley, how are you doing? Thank you for calling us today. Thank you for having me. We're here with Father Richard. Good so, to see you. Yes, good to, great to see you. So how can we help you? You wanted to talk about, uh, you wanted to have some discussion about something you, you, you shared. Yeah, I, I've been reading a lot of books recently and I've read a lot about heaven and hell and oh wow, um, all their uh, gifts and sort of vices. I don't know if that would be the right word, but um, it there seems to be sort of a lack of education on purgatory. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that a lot. Um, through my Catholic education growing up as well. And I was wondering if I could just get a quick uh, debrief of what it is and what its purpose is. Good. Well, first of all, it, all those things are called the last things, right? So uh, when we study theology, there's a whole, if you want a class, a uh, subject uh, called the last things, and you, you, you study uh, death, judgment, heaven and hell, and purgatory. Um, and it's interesting because we, here in America, um, we run, in, run into people all the time that are non-Catholics or sometimes Catholics that are not so Catholic uh, in their education or, or formation. And uh, people wonder, what is this about uh, purgatory? And, and sometimes we don't realize when we pray as Catholics for, for when someone dies, we pray for them and what we're doing, right? So we um, purgatory is like... Um, to put it simple, when you die, right? You, if you if you die in the state of grace, you're saved. If you are not in the mm -hmm. state of grace, you can't be saved. But when you're saved, you don't go always directly into heaven. So the saints, many saints, go uh, into heaven directly because they are in the state of grace and purified from all their sins and imperfections. But you know, typically, the rest of mortals, if you want, um, may have something to purify, right? Uh, maybe temporal punishment due to our past sins. Maybe we have mortal sins that we have confessed, and uh, that punishment we still we still owe some punishment for um, uh, purification for our past sins. You know, for the uh, injustices we have committed. So that's what purgatory is about: to cleanse our soul, to make it ready to see God, who is pure holiness, right? So to bring us up to speed, if you want, from where we were at and with our imperfections and vices and everything, up to the, to the possibility and uh, ability to then receive the light of, of, of glory, lumen gloria, we call it, to see God, right? Yeah, some okay. cool things about uh, purgatory that we can think about. Um, first, um, how purgatory is a mercy of God. So we we are we are imperfect and we are human and uh we always have some some uh stain of sin so if we get there uh with um you know to, to our death with some vineyard sins still or some uh temporal punishment we owe for the mortal sins although they've been forgiven um and we were to appear before god like we are we will not be able to uh, sustain his sight. We will not be able to look at him because he's so beautiful. He's so good. He's so perfect, right? So to be in the presence of God, you need to be completely stainless. You have to okay. be completely purified, right? And so um, the purgatory is a mercy of the Lord uh, so that we can get there. And then uh, also to think that um, the nice thing of purgatory is when you get there, sooner or later you are going to be in heaven. Right. right? So um, actually when you get to purgatory, you're saved. Right, you're so, already saved. You're already homebound, home free, you know, so, yes. so to speak. Yeah, so, so that's really good. So, so just, and of course, um, purgatory on the other hand, it is purification. So there is some uh, pain, you know, going on and uh, so that we purify ourselves, but it's mainly a place of hope because, right. you know, the heaven is, is coming sooner or later, so that's good news. And it's a suffering that we're happy, right. happy to receive because it perfects us. Yeah. In a sense, if you want like an image, it's like a mudroom in, a, in, a, in the northern states in the United States. When you come in from the outside and it's snowy and slushy and muddy, you come into the house to, you not to dirt, dirt. Uh, dirty the house, you have a mud room where you leave your boots, your scarf, you wipe your shoes off, and then you can come into the house. Mm? 
Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for calling in today. I hope this was helpful, and we hope to see you soon again and talk to you again. These things are really interesting. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. All right. God bless you, Coley. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.